Welcome to our webinar, Unlock Business Efficiency with Asana Automation. My name is Anastasia and I'll be your host for this session. Whether you are an existing Asana user or just exploring, um, today you're in the right place to learn how automation can take your workload to the next level. We have a lot, a lot of great content to cover today and we'll also have time at the end for a Q&A session. So feel free to send us any questions you have as we go along. Once again, welcome to the webinar and let's get started. Now I would like to introduce you to our amazing speakers. Today we have Bhutan, Asana Sales Executive at Cloudfresh, and Vikash, Corporate Account Executive at Asana. Bhutan, Vikash, thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Before we dive into today's content, I would like to take a moment and introduce you to Cloudfresh. Cloudfresh is a global partner of Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, GitLab, Microsoft, and Okta. With a presence in over 50 countries and the trust of more than 1,400 customers, Cloudfresh is dedicated to helping businesses just like yours achieve new levels of cloud efficiency. We are proud to have worked with top-tier companies in various industries. Over the years, companies such as Deloitte, PwC, Vodafone, Forbes, and many others have chosen Cloudfresh for their cloud solutions. As a special thank you for joining us today, we have prepared some special offers for you. So if you're new to Asana and hopefully after this webinar decide to try it out, we are excited to provide you with a special 20% discount and a complimentary onboarding. So if you're interested, please scan this QR code and we'll be in touch after the webinar. And if you're already using Asana, we're offering three hours of free consultations from our Asana experts to maximize your setup and enhance your productivity. And for your convenience, I will be sharing the links to both offers here in the chat. And last thing from my end, um, we are offering these amazing Cloudfront branded gifts to the most active participant. So don't hesitate, ask any questions you may have, and you might be lucky enough to win these gifts and the winner will be chosen by our speakers at the end of this session. That is it from my side. Um, I'm passing the word to Bohdan, our first speaker. Hi, everyone. My name is Bohdan. I'm a Sana Sales Executive at Cloudfresh. I'm excited to be here today with you. Uh, before we get started, uh, I'm really curious, how many of you are already using Asana? Uh, send a plus in the chat if you're an existing Asana user, and minus if you're not. Oh, I can see quite few users, uh, have quite few existing users of Asana, and that's a great news. And so uh, for you guys, uh, I really want to ask you, have you already using Asana automations? If yes, please throw us some dubs. Oh. Automation plus. Okay. <laughs> I guess not not all of you are using, so we will show you. And so for new Asana users, I'm happy to see you interested interest in learning for a new product and uh, that you came here today. So stay tuned. We are going to show you not only Asana automation features, but we will provide a comprehensive overview of Asana product. So, uh, firstly, I would like to be honest with you and answer the critical question. Why we are here today? Trust me, we wouldn't want to waste your will, your time to discuss things that don't matter to you. Uh, that's, why we, uh, that's why today we are going to focus on specific business challenges and how Asana uh, uh, can help you to solve them. Firstly, uh, the first problem is a lack of visibility. As a manager, you don't have to need, you don't have the needed visibility into what uh, everyone else is doing, and as a result, the goals uh, 
aren't just getting delivered. The solution, we need a real-time status update so everyone can uh, be on the same page and uh, uh, you, can uh, you can hit your targets efficiently. Now, uh, think about those times when uh, there is a disconnection between your teams, when uh, just teams working separately and uh, you're just waiting for some info from your teammates. Uh, and meanwhile, the important tasks uh, are really falling through the cracks. The impact work isn't get, uh, getting done efficiently. What is, uh, and uh, that's a problem. What we need is a cross-team clarity. Clear communications means uh, that nothing get mit, missed and uh, everyone get uh, understand what is happening. There, there is uh, the inefficiency that lead to missed deadlines. I feel like we, we are always uh, playing catch up but uh, if we could improve our pro processes, we would gain agility and velocity, and we, we would and we would face our deadlines in time. And last, and last, the manual repetitive work. Doing the same tasks over and over again uh, leaves uh, no room for innovations, and we really need automa automation for that. By automating repetitive tasks. Uh, we can free up time to focusing uh, on growth and new ideas and do the jobs that we need to do, not just work uh, to work. So uh, also I have, uh, here is the question. Uh, there is uh, uh, the question. So what's uh, the end goal of today's webinar? So the answer is that we want to show you how Asana can, uh, can help tackle those challenges. The next slide is, here you can see uh, the pyramid. That's called the pyramid of clarity. It is uh, Asana, uh, Asana's uh, research. Asana was built on a, based on the research. It's a work drive data model. And here you can see that uh, Asana is uh, the only work management platform that connect the goals you set up on the top of your organization to the strategic portfolios you have put in the place to achieve them all the way through the cross-functional projects and individual tasks that will support those strategies. The pyramid, uh, on, the type of the, on the top of the pyramid, here we can see the mission. This is the ultimate goal uh, that drives your business. Underneath, you can see the goals. These are the specific targets uh, that uh, align with your mission. They can be both like for teams, for the whole organization, and also like for the individuals. Uh, the next, uh, the next level is the portfolios. This helps you to manage pr multiple projects uh, by giving you a high-level view uh, of how your projects are progressing. So that can give you basically the bird's eye view of uh, everything important in those projects. Uh, the, the next level is the project level. This is where the magic happens. Each project collects task is a collection of tasks uh, that we work together to achieve the goals. And finally, we have tasks. Uh, they, those are individual actions uh, that need to be completed. Uh, they are like the building blocks uh, of your projects. But it's not just, it is not just only about uh, the tasks and the projects. Asana really integra integrates various aspects of your work. You probably have different teams uh, like marketing operations, IT, sales, product, and each uh, of these have like their own role uh, within your organization. And here uh, they are represented with their own color, you can see. Uh, and uh, they are really respons responsible for the work and for the whole organization mission. So uh, for uh, ensuring clarity and accountability, The next slide, uh, on the next slide, here you can see the problem. Basically, uh, all of the teams are facing such problem as busy work. It's like the work about work. Uh, things like this, working on manual, repetitive tasks, where uh, communication, uh, a lot of communications that we are asking uh, for the information about the project, who is doing what and, uh, and when. Uh, the task will be completed. So that's basically like the, one of the biggest blocker for all of us. Today, workers only spend 40% of uh, their time on the jobs 
uh, they have very hard to do. So uh, the rest uh, is actually spent on work about work. It's crazy, isn't it? I have some example of work about work on the slides, so you can see it's like unnecessary meetings, emails, messaging, and duplicated work. So uh, I will really want to hear from you. Uh, do any of uh, those resonates with you? Do you or your team uh, come across uh, these things at work? And what are some uh, other annoying things that you face every day? Please share it in the chat. So, thank you a lot for for for, <laughs> for such a lot of work about work examples. Thanks. And now. Uh, let's dive into one of the most powerful features of Asana and focus on today's webinar, workflow and automations. Imagine being able to build uh, any workflow, no matter how complex it is, without needing to know any code. With Asana, this is a reality. You can create custom workflows and automations. Uh, and you can also build the automations that make your processes smoother and error-proof across the entire organization. The beauty of Asana is that uh, it allows you to create uh, these workflows using templates and bundles. Templates help you to set up uh, standard program, standard process quickly, and bundles let uh, let you group like related tasks uh, and automations together. Just stay tun tuned as our second speaker, Wick, uh, will demonstrate to you those features in a live demo during the next session. So. Uh, the next slide. Uh, now just uh, look at the second benefit of workflow and automations, the possibility to capture and automate work across different tools. I'm curious, uh, what tools are you and your team uh, use the most? Please share it in the chat. It can be like Teams, Slack, Salesforce, Google Workspace, HubSpot, Zendesk, and et cetera. Thanks. Uh, Slack, yeah, I see a lot of. Okay, so Asana uh, can help you with that because all these tools uh, that you mentioned uh, can be uh, like, can be uh, automated and uh, synchronized together in one place. And uh, when I say all tools, I mean like Asana has more than 300 uh, integrations. Uh, with third-party application, so including all the popular communications and uh, productivity tools that you have mentioned in chat. Also, I saw like a Telegram. Uh, you know, uh, there are some tools uh, like uh, Zapier and uh, other integrated tools that can help you to build the integration by your own. So you can build even integration with Telegram through Asana. So also that wouldn't be a problem, but you just need to like set up some settings through the third uh third party application for example zapier and you can just connect those tools so that also won't be a problem and uh let's take a look at the simple uh, yet effective workflow examples on the right uh first step is a new task assigned it's all when the task is created uh, the second step is uh, move to section recently assigned the task automatically moves to the recently assigned section uh, and just keep you keep your board organized and update, updated in real time without any like uh, routine and manual work. 
The third step is to send the Slack notification. That's finally a notification uh, is sent to your team and uh, basically uh, to you on Slack, uh, via Slack, ensuring that everyone is on the same page and uh, uh, your team is ready to tackle the task. The cool thing is that you can do all this uh, just with a few handy features like desktop and mobile apps. Asana has uh, a desktop and mobile app, so you can just manage your task on the go. Uh, also rules. Uh, this functionality allows you to set up uh, like simple triggers, triggers uh, or rules that uh, automate different actions uh, and uh, like moving tasks or sending notifications. Also forms. Asana also has form functionality and that uh, just allow you to easily collect the information and plug it, uh, plug it directly into your workflows. So, uh, for example, at CloudFresh, we recently moved our paid time off tracking to Asana just using Asana Forms. So by using all those features, uh, you can save time and focus on what really matter. With Asana, uh, you just uh, empower yourself and your team to work smarter and not harder. So, and uh, last but not least, uh, let's talk about how Asana can help you to make uh, your workflow better. For uh, every business, it's really important to understand uh, and optimize your processes, right? So uh, with Asana, you can monitor all your processes in just in one place. So you can clearly see what's working and what's not. Uh, so two features uh, that uh, make this possible are bundles and reporting dashboards. Uh, bundles, I've just talked about them before. Uh, they are they allow you to group like the similar processes, uh, making it easier to manage and automate them. And reporting dashboards, uh, as seen uh, as you can see on the slide, they just provide you the, with the real time insights into your operations. You can uh, and the cool thing is uh, that these dashboards are built on your existing data in Asana. For example, uh, let's look at. Uh, Creative uh, creative product dashboards that you can see on your screen. Yeah. Uh, that uh, it helps you to track progress uh, with clear indicators for tasks that are on track, uh, at risk or or off the track. Uh, this visual represent representation ensures that uh, you can quickly identify areas that uh, need your attention. Additionally. Um, you can uh, monitor uh, monitor spending and make informed decisions to keep your project uh, within the budget. Because uh, a line graph here shows uh, the amount spent over time, allowing you to track like your financial health across different goals in your company. Also, you can build uh, those dashboards through the portfolios, like the group of projects, and you can just manage it. Uh, also, and uh, on the projects, and there is also like universal reporting that can help you to build uh, the insight through uh, all the information that you did in Asana. So, sorry, uh, if Kenny, you have a question, but we will have a Q&A session just in, the, in like a few minutes. So if you can, you can just write down your question and ask it later. So uh, basically, that's uh, that's all from my side. Thank you a lot for your attention. It was a great pleasure to just uh, share with you some insight about Asana. And uh, let me know if uh, you will have some questions like Evgeny. So uh, I really would uh, be happy to answer to all of them, but just during the Q&A session. Uh, because uh, right now uh, I'm existing to hand it over to Vikash from Asana. Uh, you can call him Vic. Uh, he will demonstrate everything, and uh, I've just uh, talked about uh, some, you know, just some tech, just some information that uh, I haven't shown you, like Asana. But he will demonstrate every function that I've talked before, just in action. So, Vikash, the stage is yours. Awesome. Thank you, Bodan. I appreciate that. Um, it's a pleasure to meet everyone, and thank you for taking the time to uh, join us today. As mentioned, my name is Vikash, you can call me Vic. I'm an account executive here at Asana. I primarily focus on the Middle East region and uh, the GCC countries within the Middle East region. I've worked with a lot of our top customers within the region and I've had over I've had over two and a half years of experience in Asana right now. So, you know, 
um, at this point, I can kind of consider myself uh, an expert when it comes to Asana. Um, with that in mind, you know, I don't want to bore you guys for too long, so I'm going to jump right into the demonstration over here. I'll uh, be sharing my screen. Awesome. So um, as you guys can see, I'm currently in my demo environment for the Asana platform. I'm currently logged in on the web browser version of the platform, but you can also download the application on your device. Okay. Pikesh, I'm super sorry to interrupt you. We, uh, personally, for me, I can see the meeting, not the Asana. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for flagging that. No problem. Let's see okay. here. Awesome. I think everyone can see my screen now. A little bit of technical difficulties there. Yes, all good. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm currently logged in on the web browser version of the Asana application. Uh, you can also download the application on your device of choice, whether that's your Windows, your MacBook, or your mobile device. It's all effectively the same thing. As I mentioned, I'm currently on the uh, in my demo environment, which is a fictitious organization known as Phoenix, as we can see the little Phoenix logo over here. And I'm logged in as Alan. Currently, I am on the home screen over here, and I know some of you already have some experience with Asana, so you know I'll kind of get into the meaty, gritty details in a, just a moment over here. Um, but for now, we can see on the home screen it is customizable, so we can add and edit these widgets around to what we might like to see on a day-to-day -day basis. But for now, we can see the tasks that are in my name, whether that's upcoming, overdue, or recently completed. Same for the tasks that I've assigned to people. A little bit of a draft comment section, the goals I've implemented in Asana, the projects I've recently been working on, a little bit of a private notepad, and the people I've recently been working with. To paint all of you a little bit of a picture, what is Asana really? Asana is a platform that is meant to revolutionize the way you're working, whether that's on a task management level where you're currently kind of executing on deliverable tasks like reaching out to a customer, sending an invoice, updating the website, anything of that sort, or taking that one level higher where we can manage an entire marketing campaign um, we can even take that higher where we can manage multiple marketing campaigns or the entire marketing department or the entire product departments work all in one location with our portfolios feature as well. Speaking of that, here on the left-hand side, this is our navigation bar. This is our quick access to any of our top features or if there's a project or a portfolio you're frequently working with, you can find that under the start section. With that in mind, I'm going to jump right into my My Tasks section. So the My Tasks section over here kind of highlights all the tasks that are listed in my name, regardless of the project. We can highlight those projects over here. So this is a good starting point uh, for your day anytime. You can really come in here and you can understand, hey, what's expected of me today? We've also got the Inbox section over here. And you kind of you can kind of treat this like a social media inbox where Anytime there's an update in a task or a message or a team that is pertaining to you, you can find those all in the inbox section over here. As we can see, I am tagged in on a few of these tasks over here, and I'm listed as collaborators on some of these tasks over here, hence why they're all populating in the inbox. Now, as I mentioned, this is the navigation bar. So I'm going to jump directly into the marketing portfolio uh, over here. So this is going to give me visibility over multiple marketing projects at one location. And I'm going to jump into the request for production uh, project over here. So what is this uh, request for production project? Effectively, this is a design team that is within the marketing department. So anytime something needs to be produced for a marketing request, whether this is new videos for the marketing campaign, maybe it's a new logo for the new product, Maybe it's kind of a landing page for the new website. Anything of that, any creative requests is coming to this design team to produce. And as we can see, there's a lot of different options over here. We've got a lot of different views. And so currently, the design team is leveraging the board view. This is because of two reasons. Primarily because it's a very visual, heavy project. As we can see, there's a lot of pictures and attachments around. This allows us to kind of see this right away. And on top of that, they're also using the waterfall methodology. As we can see, all of there's a few different sections over here. These are all fully customizable. We can rename these sections. We can add new sections. Um, but with that in mind, we can see the, the tasks would all populate directly here in the new request section. And as they're being worked on, they would just move through the funnel of the project from left to right. 
in each different waterfall, hence the waterfall methodology over here. We've also got the list view over here, which looks and functions a lot more like an Excel spreadsheet. We can see the different rows, the different columns. All of these different columns are all fully customizable, just like the different sections. This is what we call custom fields. And as we can also see, the sections that we saw in the board view are exactly what we saw over here, uh, is exactly what we see over here in the list view as well. We've got the timeline view over here, which is gonna allow us to visualize all of our projects on a timeline perspective. We can see we're currently looking at it on a monthly basis right now. I can zoom out to see it on a quarterly basis if my project is a very large deliverable, or maybe it's a smaller project and I'd wanna kinda jump into a weekly basis. This is very easy and nice to kind of visualize the dependencies in between our projects. So we can see that this task is currently dependent on this task. That means I won't be able to finish this task until this task has been completed. We've got the calendar view over here, which allows us to visualize all the tasks on a calendar perspective. We can jump into the, we're currently looking at the month view, but we can also jump into the week view to kind of see what is ahead of us at a weekly time. And we've also got the Gantt view over here. This Gantt view is kind of like a hybrid between the list view over here on the left-hand side and a timeline view here on the right-hand side. What's interesting about the Gantt view is it also allows us to set uh, baselines. So as we understand, you know, our projects are current, always changing. They're never a static project that is always gonna be delivered the same as it was once created. So we can always track back and kind of create a baseline to see what the differences were from that date to how it currently is. Now, jumping back over to the board view over here, I want to highlight what this uh, webinar is really about. It's automations and workflows. So if you have a really clear built out process within your day-to-day uh, -day work, within your projects or anything of that sort, we can start automating this work. So I do understand uh, there was a lot of comments in the chat you know, earlier talking about you know, um, some of you guys are very old school. You're using uh, emails and messaging. Uh, some of you are like, you know, kind of complaining a lot about the manual work. And that's where the beauty of uh, our workflows and automations can kind of come in. If we were to look at this project, we can see there's a review and approval section. So let's imagine there's always going to be one person approving these tasks once they're completed. And we can see if I were to click into these projects that all of these tasks are a general mark complete task. So what do we want to do here? We want that every time the task is moved over to the review and approval section, it automatically assigns it to the approver and it also changes the task into an approval task. So how do we do this? We can head over to our customize section and we can head over to our rules. So there's a lot of pre-built rules over here, but it's really important to learn how to build your own rules. So I'm going to go ahead and create a custom rule here. So what do we do when we do this is effectively we can tell the system the actions and the triggers. So right now I'm going to tell the system when the task is moved to a section and I'll highlight that section. I'm going to tell them that the section is the review and approval section. So that's the trigger right there, right? The task is moved to the review and approval section. Now I tell the system to actually execute on the, when that trigger is delivered, to actually execute on the action. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell the system that we will mark the task as an approval. And on top of that, I can add a little action over here to do something else. And I'll tell the system to change the assignee to the approver. And in this scenario, I'll let it be Alan. So I can go ahead and publish the rule right now. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that right here. So now that that rule is published, we can click into any of these tasks. We can see this task is assigned to Diana. It's a normal mark complete task. But if I were to move it over to the review and approval section, which is exactly what the trigger is, We'll see in just a moment over here. It's going to go ahead and change that over to Alan. And it's also an approval task right now. So just one more time for that example, we can take a look at this task over here, the North American new product launch asset. It's assigned to Hannah. And we can also see it's a mark complete task. I'll move that over to review and approval section. And that is going to change it over to Alan and it's also going to be an approval task, as we can see over here. Now, there's a lot of other features in Asana, so the one next thing I want to highlight for you guys is our dashboards feature. <clears throat> so we can jump into our dashboard over here, and now this is going to allow us to start reporting on this project at hand. 
maybe the project owner, the head of the department, whoever it might be, the project manager, they need to start getting these analytics and start reporting on this because they need to feed it up to the C-level, to the board, to whomever. So we can always leverage the dashboards feature to do this. As we can see, there's a lot of different charts already over here that's showing us a lot of different things. We can see where the region of these tasks are coming in from. So how many tasks are global tasks, how many are in North America, EMEA, and so on. Same for how many tasks are in each different section, how many tasks are related to graphic, UI, and so on. And what's really nice about the dashboard feature is this is not a static dashboard. This is a live dashboard. So I can actually click into these. So if I wanted to see all the tasks that were came in from North America, I could click into the North America section and it would populate that for me as well. So I'm going to back out here and just show that in another example. Maybe I wanted to see all the tasks in the review and approval section as that's where all of them are currently, most of them are living. We can put that in and we can visualize all of that here as well. Now, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and jump into our portfolio. So we've got this marketing portfolio. This is allowing us to visualize and manage multiple projects at once. Maybe this is where the marketing director or the head of the marketing department or the CMO is going to be primarily living. Now, from there, he's going to assign you know, his differing, different marketing managers the different uh, projects to, take, take a, you know, to manage. So we've got Alan in charge of a few different projects over here. He's in charge of the On Tour London event, the approval project, and the request for production project. But we can also see Michelle is in charge of the seasonal marketing campaign, and AB's in charge of the web production requests. Just like the list view, we can also create our different columns over here, uh, and we can you know maybe keep track of the budget or anything else in that sort over here. Now, I recall in the comments section, uh, a lot of people were kind of complaining about project updates, right? You guys need to keep updating your managers, your C-level, whoever that might be, maybe it's the board, on what's going on in the project updates. Now, a really cool feature with that and how we can tackle that and help automate that and get you guys to spend less time on these updates is through our AI feature. So maybe every Monday, I expect Alan to give me an update on the request for production project over here. So Alan, all he needs to do is he needs to click right in. We can see what the previous updates were. So on the 1st of July, he told me they were on track. On the 30th of July, he told me they were off track. And back on the 1st of August, he told me they were on track. Maybe Alan can come in here and he can tell me this project is at risk. And typically before AI, Alan would come in here and he would start typing away and start spending his time doing this. You know, this could take minimum 15 minutes, but in some scenarios, if it's a very complex project, it might even take someone two hours to do this. With our AI feature, we can go ahead and do this in a couple of minutes. We can even provide a little bit of guidance from our AI feature. As we can see, I'm going to go ahead and tell the system to give me an update over the last seven days. I'll go ahead and draft that update. And as this is working away, it'll only take a couple minutes. I can show you some other features on the portfolio level as well. So as I mentioned, uh, this is giving me visibility over multiple projects at once. So we can even see there's a task progression bar over here. So this is showing me how what the percentage of completed tasks are as compared to the incomplete tasks and the total amount of tasks. We've got a timeline view over here, which is going to let me visualize multiple projects timelines at once. We've got a dashboard over here, so that's going to allow me to report on multiple projects at once as well, just like the dashboard on the project level. And as we can see here on the bottom left-hand side, uh, our SANA intelligence has gone ahead and updated that status for me. So we can click into it, and we can see this is all done directly with our AI feature. So we can also edit this right before we post it. So maybe there was a couple of changes I wanted to do, or maybe I wanted to add a few details. I can always head into the highlight section and I can say, all right, I want to highlight what the incomplete tasks are in the current blocker section. And maybe I can show what the completed tasks are in the initiative section. Now that that's been posted, I can go ahead and post that. We can head back over to the list view and we can see this is now a status that has been updated over here. So hopefully that kind of tackles some of the uh, problems that were listed in the chat earlier. Uh, another interesting feature here on the portfolio level is our workloads feature. So this is going to allow us to see everyone's capacity at hand. So we can see maybe Chris has got a lot on his plate right now. So maybe I want to kind of take one of these tasks and pass it over to Hayden because uh, he's kind of got a little bit less on his plate over here. There's a few different ways of managing this as well. 
as this kind of webinar is focused primarily around automations and workflows, I'm going to jump into my approval project over here and show you how maybe we can have multiple stages of approvals before something is transferred into a project. So let's imagine before you launch a new marketing campaign, it needs to be approved by the three mark the two marketing managers and then lastly the CMO. So we've built this approval project over here and as we can see we can have we have an approval in each stage. I've already got the automation set up as well. So how is the work going to get into our sauna environment? We could simply add a task over here and start manually filling it. But sometimes maybe someone's not going to fill out all the details they need to fill out for uh, the approver to have all the information to approve, reject, or deny it. So what we can do is we can leverage our template feature. Sorry, our forms feature over here. Our forms feature can uh, we can control the privacy settings on this, so we can you know have our entire Sana environment have access to this form. They need to be an Asana user, or we can open it up and say they don't need to be an Asana user. They don't need to be a part of our organization, and we can even send this out to our customers to fill out. For example, I've already gone ahead and filled out this form. We can see I've got my name in here. What days will this campaign roll until? I've listed that. What is the purpose of this campaign? So I'm you know saying we're going to look a uh, look to run a marketing and discount campaign till the 30th of this month to increase our online sales. Uh, it's gonna be affiliated with the summer season and it's gonna be known as the end of the summer sale. I've also attached a sample media plan over here to kind of give a little bit more details and paint a little bit of a picture on what's going on. So once I hit submit over here, we can head back over to the project and we can see that has now created a task affiliated in this project. So we can see it's also immediately assigned it to James Chen and we can see it's also immediately changed it into an approval task. These are the automations I've set up in the system. James Chen is the first level approver. So James has gone ahead and said, I like this. I'm going to go ahead and approve this. From there with the automation, in just a moment here, you'll see it's moved over to stage two of automation. It's unmarked it approved, and it's now on to Jamie for approval. So Jamie has now consumed the details. Maybe she's clicked into the media plan. She's happy with everything. So she's going to go ahead and send it and approve this. And it's going to go over to the CMO for the last level approval. Chris, our CMO, is going to come in here. He's going to take a look at everything. And if Chris is happy, he can also approve it as well. And from here, I've built another automation that is going to convert this task into a fully ex executable project. Now, that's leveraging one of our template features, as these uh, marketing campaigns are quite easy to replicate. So I'm going to leverage one of our template features in the automation, and that's going to go ahead and populate that. Now, it takes a few minutes to do, so I've already pre-built the project over here. It's going to look something like this. It's going to be, I've named it the Big Five Super Day Sale. It's got all of the details we need to kind of execute on. You know, It has the amount we're going to be spending on each different avenue for the promotions. It's already got the assignees in, the due dates in, and so on. With that in mind, that kind of comes uh, to a conclusion on my demonstration over here. I hope that kind of gives you guys a picture of what's going on with our automations and workflows and really what Asana is about. I'll stop sharing my screen over here and I'll uh, pass it back to the CloudFresh team. Perfect. Thanks, Vikash. I can yeah only agree. It was great, very insightful session, and uh, yeah, I hope our audience uh, enjoyed it as well. Um, yeah, if you have any questions to Vikash, we'll be jumping into Q and A in just uh, a few minutes. So feel free to um, yeah already share the questions in the chat. Uh, but before we do that, I just wanted to pass the mic back to Bohdan for um, a few comments from his end. But then uh, you're muted. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it happens. <laughs> yeah. First of all, thank you, Wake, for such a great demo. It's been a great to see all the Asana features in real life, and uh, I'm sure the audience enjoyed it. Am I right? Please send a reaction if you if you like it. You can see Wake. Everyone like it. <laughs> So I hope after seeing all the amazing Asana functionality, you are now willing uh, it to yourself. Uh, that's why I would like to offer for all of you a 30-day free trial, and there is no commitment. If you sign up uh, for the trial, 
uh, through us. Uh, also, I will like guide you through uh, through the spirit. You can uh, consult you. You can just ask me whatever you want regarding the asana, of course. But uh, I will try to help you to just start with asana and to do it as effective as possible. So, uh, also. Uh, uh, Anastasia, can you please uh, switch to the next slide because I cannot do that. Sorry, here we go. And uh, this will this is will be like the last uh, short slide from my end. I really promise that. Promise that. Uh, I would like to mention why uh, Cloud Fresh is the right choice for you. Uh, like you can receive a lot of benefits from working with us. Firstly, we have like the proof of concept, which would be super useful for uh, for who are new to Asana. We will evaluate like uh, your specific business model and uh, uh, pro and processes, and we will provide uh, you with a detailed overview of how Asana can fit into your business or to your IT setup and so on. Secondly, I would like to highlight uh, our industry-wide solutions. Uh, we really we work from gaming to healthcare. We have expertise uh, through the many industries. Uh, also. Uh, I love the Asana interface. Yeah, I really love it too. Thanks. <laughs> we are uh, also really passionate about AI, and uh, we are on a mission to help companies to transform their business uh, and just empower them with AI. When it comes to Asana, uh, we can help you to leverage the power of Asana AI, which is called uh, Asana Intelligence. Next, uh, I want to highlight that we offer a comprehensive service portfolio and support companies with audits, with consultations, quarterly reviews, and tailored onboarding to ensure your success. Also, uh, when working with us, uh, you can enjoy a range of discounts. For example, right now, we are offering for all of you 20% uh, uh, on Asana for our new Asana users. So everyone who is not using Asana, we can offer you 20% off. And the last but not least, uh, like the flexible payments. We offer flexible payment plan uh, or different financial options, multiple currencies, and also the cryptocurrencies. Also, weakish uh, or weak, <laughs> I have, uh, uh, I just wanted to circle back to you and uh, hear your opinion on why companies uh, should be working with Asana partner, especially Cloudfresh, and uh, what are some benefits that uh, they can expect? expect. Awesome. Thanks for the mic over there. Um, look, at the end of the day, Asana is all about revolutionizing the way you work, right? We've been kind of stuck in the model of working with a pen and paper, really kind of passing things around. At the end of the day, if you want to revolutionize the way you're working, it takes an investment. Whether that investment is internally and you spend your own time building your Asana projects, building these automations, figuring out how you know our current day-to-day -day work can be implemented in Asana, um, that's going to be time away from you actually delivering on your job. What CloudFresh helps you do is they help deliver that for you. They set up your Asana environment. They take that work away from you. Uh, so your team can kind of just jump in and the work is already revolutionized. You know exactly what to do. You're getting the value right away. You're automating your work. You're bringing time back in and you're spending more time kind of executing on the role you were hired for instead of that, you know, work about work. Um, the whole idea of Asana is that, you know, we want to reduce your work about work. So sometimes when you implement Asana, it can actually add a little bit of work about work at the beginning stages. So with CloudFresh, that helps reduce that. And it brings you time back to actually executing on your job. Thanks a lot. No worries. Well, yep. So uh, also, Thanks, uh, Anastasia and Vic again for uh, and all of you for joining us today and uh, and also thanks Vic for sharing the knowledge and expertise. Now I would like to open the Q and A session and uh, invite our audience to ask uh, any questions that you may have. Please use the chat right in the right uh, hand corner corner and we will just provide you answers for everything you want to hear. Perfect, thanks. I'll also jump in. Thank you both, and thank you, Vikash, for um, your uh, insightful sessions, for um, telling us more about Asana, for showing us a demo, for um, answering some of the questions. Um, 
I hope the audience really enjoyed it. Um, we have one question from Yevgeny. Sorry for keeping you waiting uh, for so long, but uh, um, I would like to now pass the mic to you um, if, you, if you would like to um, yeah, ask us that question. Or you can send it in the chat as well, whatever works for you. Yevgeny, are you here? Because I can see the hand. Uh, Okay, I think um, maybe not. So, <laughs> well, Evgeny, if you still want to ask that question, please feel free to jump in at any point. Um, but we have another question in the chat. Um, can we share access to specific projects within Asana with external users? Yeah, okay. I'm happy to field that question for you. Uh, you. So yeah, Asana has a guest feature, which allows you to invite external users into your Asana environment. As they're an external user, you can also control their privacy settings. So if you want to lock them in and kind of put them only in a specific project. So a lot of our customers, for example, will invite their clients into the Asana environment, and they can have a visibility over what their projects are being delivered, how their projects are being delivered on, and so on. Perfect. Thank I kind of answer that question, Scott. Um, yes, yeah, so another question we have from Rebecca. Um, looking forward to diving deeper into Asana CI capabilities in upcoming webinars. Um, yes, uh, thank you for the feedback. We actually um, yeah, have quite uh, many uh, planned, and we already had actually a webinar in June, which you can check out um, in our YouTube. It was uh, focused on, on Asana AI, but definitely it's a hot topic, so we'll be having more in the future. Um, then there is a question from Marta. We are currently using ClickUp, but considering moving to Asana, is it possible to import our existing tasks and projects from ClickUp to Asana? Um, Bogdan, Vic? Yeah, I'm happy to feel that. Uh, yeah, uh, there's multiple ways of doing this. You can leverage the export function from ClickUp and, and export your files into a CSV file and then import that into Asana. However, that might not be the most effective way. We can always leverage uh, CloudFresh services and you know so on and kind of... Uh, upload them and, and migrate that data in for you for more effectively. So yeah, it's definitely doable. Perfect, thanks. Um, I hope that answers the, the question. Um, then we have another question about uh, recurring tasks. So can we create them in Asana? Both then maybe you would be able to jump in here. I'll handle it. Yeah, of course we can create the recurring tasks. Uh, just easily setting up in your ta uh, task uh, slide menu, so you can just uh, open to the calendar and just to just set up like the, the recurring recurring tasks like daily, weekly, or monthly. Where you can also do it so like custom customable. I can attest to that. I, I um, We are also using Asana for our uh, marketing department, well, for for whole company at CloudFresh, but personally me in marketing. And uh, we are using a recurring task and it's uh, super easy and super um, yeah efficient to use them. Um, the another question about agile metrics, um, is it possible to um, follow all agile metrics as well? Yeah, I can feel that question. So uh, yeah, you can benchmark your agile metrics in a few different ways in Asana. Uh, there was the dashboard feature that allows you to kind of report on your KPIs and metrics, but we can also implement goals into Asana. And uh, using some of our different features, we can also see how the goals and how the metrics have been changed over time to report on that. Perfect, thanks. Um, yeah, I hope that answered the questions. Um, Another one, um, are there any upcoming AI features uh, for improving team collaboration or communication within Asana? So I think here, um, yeah, there's a lot to share actually about AI. Uh, Vic, maybe you could uh, cover this one as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we already have a lot of AI features. I know this session wasn't uh, primarily focused on AI, so maybe we can uh, kind of share some details on the AI features to you, Rebecca. But um, there's plenty of already existing AI features that help you uh, increase collaboration and communication. For example, something like our um, Smart Writer, which will rewrite your text for you, summarize projects and tasks for you, so you don't have to go in and you know go through the whole project to do that. You can kind of gather that data in just you know a matter of seconds. Um, there's plenty of more upcoming AI features. One of the interesting ones is you kind of feed the system a little bit of an idea of what you want to do. You tell the system, "This is what I want executed." 
and then it builds the project out for you. It sets up the different sections. It sets up the different custom fields. It suggests tasks and, and people to invite into your SANA environment and so on. Perfect. Um, and recently, Asana also released the AI teammates, um, which is also like a really useful feature um, that can help you to um, yeah, reduce those manual tasks and automate and uh, um, outsource some of your tasks, let's say that, to AI. Um, perfect. Um, then we have a question about Jira and uh, Asana. So what is the difference? Like, what is the um, benefit, uh, let's say, uh, Asana over Jira? <laughs> Um, Bohdan, maybe? Yeah, uh, I can hello it. Uh, first of all, like uh, Jira can be a little bit complicated for non-technical users, but Asana has a really cool UX uh, design, which uh, will, would be really much easier to use than in Jira. Also, if you will talk about like Atlas, Atlas and product, uh, you will, uh, they have different just products for like for example, Jira, Confluence, Trello, and they are not covering like all features in one product. Asana is exactly the one product that covers everything. Like one platform, all teams, easy to scale, real time visibility and collaborating. So you just don't, you just need to buy only one product, not several ones. Uh, in addition, I want to tell you if some of you just already using Jira for technical users, that also wouldn't be a problem because Asana has a partnership, kind of a partnership with Jira, uh, and everything will be synchronized with the, within the integration. So uh, you just, you know, just can separate the really hard work for non-technical teams uh, just to switch them to Asana and to synchronize them with the technical teams uh, in Jira. So that also wouldn't be a problem. Uh, is that's like the basically also the price because uh, asana has uh, the clear uh, price plans but uh, there is nothing hiding you don't have like extra limits to pay for something extra and so on but jira has uh, some of that uh, also like as i told like to scale uh, it is much uh, asana is like much flex it's very very flexible product and it is uh, scalable uh, also, like multi-home, uh, multi-home tasking, you can just uh, synchronize your tasks uh, through the different projects, and you just don't need to copy it, and everything will be synchronized, all comments, all info, and so on. So there are a lot of cool features from Asana that just uh, can benefit you from using Jira. So that's... I can talk a lot about that because there are a lot of differences, but uh, I guess that's like the main one. If uh, Vic, if you you can also just add something if I just missed, missed. if not, so we can go on. Yeah, no, I think you kind of covered a lot of the main points with Jira over there. We also do have a pretty strong uh, integration with uh, Jira as well. If there are some people working on Jira side and want to continue working with Jira and you also want to still implement Asana, it is a two-way integration where uh, the data can be fed on either end and can trigger automations on either end as well. Perfect. Yeah, thank you both. Both and that was a very comprehensive answer. I presume you get a lot of these uh, questions in your sales calls. So um, that totally makes sense. Um, but thank you. And I hope that answers the question. Um, then we have a comment about uh, looking from Julia about looking forward to the feature with multiple assignee in the task for brainstorming and other similar purposes. So I really agree uh, on this. Uh, and uh, um, maybe you have some insights on this. Maybe this is something planned on the roadmap. I know that uh, maybe this is something you cannot disclose, but uh, just, you know, <laughs> maybe uh, mentioning something. Yeah, so this is definitely um, a feature that actually is on the roadmap and is scheduled to come out hopefully later this year, um, where you can have multiple assignees on a task. But for now, there are a few ways around that. You can always have multiple collaborators on the task. So anytime a task is updated, everyone in that task gets a notification. And you can also have subtasks that are unique to the task. So you can always... Uh, uh, always assign the subtask to the other people who need to help in that primary task as well. Perfect, thanks. Um, and we have one more question from Scott. Um, maybe you have some success stories or best practices to make the most out of Asana during these AI days. <laughs> um, I can take this one if you'd like. Um, 
So yes, Scott, unfortunately, I can't mention the specific customer uh, due to privacy reasons, but we recently onboarded a customer that went from zero licenses to 850 licenses within six months. Um, with 650 licenses, you can kind of imagine how many projects, how much work they're doing and deploying directly in Asana. That's 850 different people all executing on their jobs directly on Asana. So with that in mind, you can imagine, you know, the oversight, the different levels of management. And with the AI features, that really helps automate things. You have to build your projects. You have to report on all of these projects to not only to one level of management, to multiple levels of management. And uh, really, the AI kind of helps uh, cut down on that time. Uh, every If, if you kind of were to compound the manual work, that would have taken everyone. That would have taken, you know, multiple hours on a day-to-day -day basis across, you know, hundreds of different people to update the projects. And then those managers would have to update their portfolios for the directors of the departments, for the heads of the departments. And, you know, AI kind of just takes that all, all that manual work away. Awesome. Um, thanks. I, th I think that answers the, the question. Uh, Bohdan, anything to add from your end, maybe about uh, some of the clients that we have helped uh, with Asana and uh, AI, maybe? Uh, yeah, I have something to talk, but uh, I guess the meeting is uh, just uh, soon will be. Uh, I just need to go to the another meeting, so <laughs> I guess uh, I I wouldn't add something. <laughs> Sorry for that. Also, yeah. uh, I'm right now I've just uh, I've just provided the link in the chat. You can book the meeting with me. Uh, we I can just give you like a demo with the Asana product. We can discuss everything you wanted, and I can also share like the case studies, best practices that CloudFresh provide, uh, CloudFresh uh, uh, help to the pro to our uh, clients. So if you will have some questions, please schedule the meeting with me. You can also write down like a kind of agenda right there, and I will provide you with everything you needed. Perfect. Thank you both then. Um, yeah, I think we don't have any more questions left and you're right, the uh, time is ticking. So um, I'm going to wrap up uh, our webinar, um, but we have one uh, very important thing to cover before we go. So as I mentioned, we have these prizes for the most uh, active participant today. And uh, um, I want to thank to everyone. Um, you've been all really active. We really appreciate your responses and uh, sharing some insights and, and feedback. Um, uh, but uh, we need to choose one person for the most uh, active participant prize. So um, I would like to ask both then uh, to uh, choose someone. Uh, who did you like? Which question or yeah, did you like the most? Yeah, uh, I was checking uh, the chat all the time and I saw a lot of activity from Yulia uh, Bakhryantseva. So I really wanted to, yeah to give one of the prizes to Yulia. So, hooray. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, thank you, Yulia, for all the questions and, and feedback. Um, we really appreciate that. So, um, yeah, I'll be in touch with you after the webinar about the prize. Um, but again, thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, before we go, I'd like to just remind you about these special offers that we have. So for the new users, we have minus 20% discount and complimentary onboarding. So you can see the QR code on your screen. And then if you're an existing Asana user, which I've seen we have quite many, um, you can get three hours of free consultations from our Asana experts uh, where they will look over your setup and um, consult you, answer any questions you have and uh, propose how you can um, maximize your potential. And yeah, once again, thank you all for joining. It's been a pleasure. And as I mentioned, the webinar recording will be sent to you soon. Um, and if you have any questions regarding Asana or any other cloud solutions, uh, feel free to reach out to us at hi at cloudfresh.com. We'll be happy to answer all your questions. That'll be it for today. Thank you all. Um, hope to see you next time at our future webinars. Bye-bye.